Remember the Ford Orion or the Vauxhall Belmont? Small saloons have never been very glamorous, but now Mercedes wants to revive this neglected niche with this, the CLA, a car so stylish it might just change the way we think about small saloons. Let's hope so. The CLA is based on the A-Class hatchback, but its sleek lines come straight from the larger CLS. It's one of the most aerodynamic cars on the road, and one of the most eye-catching. CLA prices start from around £24,500, a hefty £3,000 more than the equivalent A-Class. Style doesn't come cheap then, and the CLA 220 diesel that I'm driving today costs nearly £30,000. For that you get 168 brake horsepower and 0-60 to in about 8 seconds, so it's reasonably quick but there's a surprising amount of clattery diesel noise if you put your foot down. Mercedes claims an impressive 62.8 miles per gallon for the 220 diesel. That's much better than any of the three petrol engines, none of which can top 50 mpg. However, the A-Class diesel hatchback fell short of Mercedes figures in our more realistic fuel economy tests. All CLAs come with a seven-speed dual-clutch auto, and while it's not the most quick-witted gearbox, its laid-back character suits this diesel engine well. And let's be honest, nobody buys a Mercedes with a manual gearbox anyway. Inside, the CLA feels worthy of its premium price tag. All models come with a media system that allows you to display apps from your phone on the central screen. But the real highlight is all the safety kit. A radar emergency braking system is standard, as is a tension assist, which monitors your driving and warns you if you're getting tired. Here in the front, the CLA is fairly comfortable. But climb into the back and you're paying the price for that elegant shape. I'm five foot eight and I've got virtually no extra headroom here. Contrary to what you might expect, the CLA's boot is actually bigger than the A-Class hatchback. But this narrow opening makes it far less practical. You won't be squeezing a chest of drawers in here. Which measures boot space for every car in our test lab? Click the link to find out more about how we test. Now the A-Class got a lot of stick about its ride quality, not least from us. And the CLA, well it's much the same. This car is actually fitted with the standard comfort suspension, but on broken up country roads like these, the ride really is quite jarring. It's definitely one to try before you buy. Unlike other Mercedes saloons, most CLAs send power through their front wheels. The fact that the car is effectively being pulled rather than pushed may not sound like a big deal, but it means less feedback through the steering wheel and less poise when cornering than a regular Mercedes C-Class, let alone a BMW 3 Series. And for a car that looks so sporty, that's a shame. The CLA is far from perfect then. It's expensive, there's not much room in the back, and the ride is rock hard. Despite that, I'm gonna take my rational witch hat off for a minute and say that this is still a desirable car. A C-Class at near enough the same price is better, but only a CLA will make your neighbors feel jealous and make you feel special. And you could never say that about a Vauxhall Belmont. Click here to read our first drive of the CLA, or read our full lab test reviews for the Mercedes A-Class and BMW 3 Series. <laughs>